Steve, thanks. Now, for some, the snowfall is not all doom and gloom. In fact, there are those who say that their money is made in conditions like this. Our Mike Shell was out and about today and found some of those business opportunities. You can find those opportunities here in Northside or any area of the tri-state where the snow now blankets the ground. There is money to be made. You just need to know where to look. Northside Hardware has been serving this neighborhood since 1954. I just need to clean the street. I got stuck. Jason Miller found himself stuck in the snow with no shovel at home. I had to come here and get one. Ace Hardware, man. Ace Hardware. I had to come and buy one. Yes, sir. For Kevin Baumkamp and his family business, the snow is a welcome sight. Northside Hardware. This time of the year for hardware, there's not much going on, so we really do anticipate for, you know, weather like this to help with some sales and, you know, help the community out. But when simple rock salt won't do the trick, Kevin says there is this. Oh, this bad boy, yeah, I've used this this morning. Um, it, it did its job, you know, it's a little probably too big for what it needed to do, but it got it done, you know, clear the sidewalks off. I'm guessing you don't mind the snow, right? No, yeah, I love it. It's a little extra money for me. Kevin Standring says he has been plowing snow for 25 years now, but most recently it hasn't paid off. It's been a few years, it was nothing. And then there's been some really good years. You just never know. I found when I get kids to do it, they do the minimum. 74-year-old Doug Morris has a long way to go before he clears his 100-foot driveway in Northside. <laughs> Doug says it appears to him that the younger generation would rather play than get paid $25 for about an hour's worth of work. And for $25, they'll do the front. They aren't going to do this whole driveway. You, know, you get more like about 40 or 50 for that. There won't be any money-making snow opportunities for the rest of January as temperatures are going to moderate. But winter is far from over. Technically, still two months to go before the calendar eventually flips over to spring. Reporting from Northside, Mike Shell, Fox 19 Now.